What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're having some more fun with it. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but this time with an off meta Zarude and Melmetal team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. While you're down there, ring those notification bells so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet are coming out in just a short amount of time, let me have tons of content on that. Guides, playthroughs, online rank battles, so you guys definitely do not want to miss out. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Mel Metal. Mel Metal is super, super strong in Trick Room, so hopefully we can pop a Trick Room with our uh, Porygon 2 and get that Pokemon rolling. He's got Iron Fist and the Life Orb as item, Double Iron Bash, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and Protect for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Rayquaza over here with the Power Herb and Airlock as its ability. We got Meteor Beam to pair up with that Power Herb. You get a special uh, attack boost, and on top of that, you do some heavy damage with a Rock move. Then we got Protect. Air Slash and Dragon Pulse for two stab moves. Middle left is going to be our support Porygon over here with Trace and the Evil Light as its item. It's got Recover, Eerie Impulse, Trick Room, and Foul Play. Fairly normal moveset for any Porygon too. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Zarude. Now, I love Zarude's design. I love his typing and all that. And I just wish it was stronger in ranked battles. It's got Leaf Guard. It's got the Cobra Berry as item. But then it's got Jungle Healing as its uh, signature move. Jungle Healing is really cool because it heals uh, your ally Pokemon every single turn. For like 25%, I believe that's how it is, right? It might actually heal Zarude and Melmetal, but it is a really cool move, especially if you can set it up. Or why I say Melmetal, I was just thinking of Zarude and Melmetal, but any ally Pokemon on the field and Zarude will get healing 25%. I think it's 25% every single turn. So it's a really cool move. Hopefully we get to showcase it off, but it is definitely a little tougher to kind of pull off. We also got Darkest Lariat, Power Whip for Stab, Grass Move, and then we got Acro Bats for uh, Speed Boost when we Dynamax. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Kyogre. This Pokemon is still overpowered in this series, just so dominant. It's got Drizzle and the Mystic Water as the item. Then it's Rocket Origin Pulse, Protect, Water Spout, and Ice Beam. Final Pokemon is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex. Focus Ash as one ability, but this time it's Rocking Speed Swap as one of its moves. I really do like that. Paired up with Astro Barrage, Will O Wisp, and Protect. But Speed Swap is going to be good for like Pokemon like Melmetal or even Zarude. I would say more so Melmetal. Just so you can give it its speed, make that Pokemon really fast so then it can actually hit like a truck and outspeed Pokemon at the same time. So I'm probably going to be using that combo in today's video. Hopefully we can pull off a win with it. But guys, there's the team preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, the rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Melmetal and Zarude team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a top tier squad right here. This guy's got Shadow Rider, Calyrex, Kyogre, Zacian, Yveltal, Wimscott, and Zekrom. You guys definitely seen this team on the rank ladder. Hopefully we can beat it and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I feel like popping uh, Trick Room with Porygon too, instead of going in with the Speed Swap combo, because just say we go into Speed Swap with Calyrex and Melmetal, he can just like pop a tail one and still have speed on me. So I just don't think that's why. I think going into Porygon 2 with like a Pokemon maybe like Kyogre or even Calyrex could be pretty good, especially if he leads a physical attacker like Zekrom or Zacian. We can kind of just get straight after it. Hmm. Or I could just go straight into. I kind of like this. I kind of like Calyrex here, right? I'm kind of thinking Calyrex. So yeah, I'm going to go Calyrex for the lead. I am going to go. Or I could go more so like a Pokemon like Rayquaza. I'm going to be bad here either. Kind of a bit slower. Definitely going to be slower than a few other Pokemon. So I could go Rayquaza. I don't mind Rayquaza, but I definitely want to bring in Melmetal, but not as a lead. Could go, could go Zarude. I mean, Zarude's not too bad here. Zarude. Maybe set up a jungle healing. That could be a pretty solid turn. You know, I'm going to go with Zarude. We're going to have some fun with this one. We're going to go with Zarude. Actually, no, nah, we're not going to go with Zarude. We're going to go Kyogre, <laughs> Melmetal, and Calyrex. That's going to be play. Sorry, Zarude. Got you guys. I got you guys hopes up for Zarude, but we'll definitely get Zarude in, in uh, today's video, either in battle number two or battle number three. But going up against a tough team like this, I got to bring my top dogs. I got to go in with a Pokemon more so than Kyogre. But I mean, Zarude would have been fun. Definitely would have been fun, but Kyogre is just a play. Kyogre is a beast. Kyogre is a beast. But let's see who he ends up leading. Probably Wimscott, right? Wimscott seems like to always be leading this team. Yeah, Wimscott, you belt all. I mean, Zarude wouldn't have been bad. I mean, he could taunt me. Definitely taunt could come out here. I think I. Still pop a water spell? I pop the spell? I could Dynamax. I could Dynamax. I mean, who is he going to go after? I mean, Trick Room's definitely going to play, but is he rocking Taunt? I could definitely see it. Oh, we got Prankster. Yo, can I Prankster a Trick Room? 
That'd be insane. I could go for Eerie Impulse. It would suck if he taunts me, but I gotta go for this Trick Room. I gotta pop it. Can you Prankster a... A, uh... A Trick Room? That'd be hilarious. That'd be amazing. But I do think this Pokemon might be Rock and Taunt. We'll see. He's gonna Dynamax your Veltal. I'm all cool with that. I'm all... I'm all cool with that. That's fine. But dude, that would be so funny. I, did, I like... I never had Prankster... No, you can't practice a trick him. Never mind, because Whimsicott has it all the time. Never mind. I'm tripping, yo. I'm tripping. <laughs> just thought of it. I was just like, wait, wait a minute. Whimsicott has Prankster, and it can learn Trick Room. Yeah, Trick Room's always going last. He is going to taunt me. I knew it. Hate that Pokemon. Is he going to go into an Airstream here? We're going to be able to pop a Water Spout. We outspeed that Pokemon. Wow, and we dump on Whimsy, and look how much damage we do. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful sight right there. Airstream's going to fly here. Um, into who? Into my Kyogre, which I don't mind too much. I mean, he gets a speed boost. Uh, if he brings out a special attacker, I am going to go into a... What's it called? Actually, I can't hear Impulse. So, so I had to go into a power player. Um, I still have Calyrex in the back, which is going to work wonders. But this Airstream kind of scares me because Zassian's going to fly through here. Zassian with an Airstream is no bueno. Um, what can I do here? I could that now. You're not gonna Dynamax Tiger. Ah, uh, I guess I'll just foul play into you. Get off as much damage as I possibly can and try to get off an Origin Pulse if I can. I mean, Protect is actually not a bad turn. What I really want to do here is kind of waste out some turns. For this, uh. For this taunt to try to pop another Trick Room. But Women's Cop was not Sash. It might have been a Jack Button. Which probably is, right? It makes the most sense with that. But he's gonna go into another Airstream. Can we eat that? We can't, so Protect did nothing. Okay, that's fine. It don't matter. I really wish we could have just hooked that up, but he does get a speed boost here. Which I do not like, not one bit. And I'm trying to think of how we can actually play this one. I'm trying to think of how we can get after this. I mean, we have Focus Ash. He's going to Sacred Sword me. Which, can we eat? We can. Beautiful. Nice solid eat. A nice solid eat. And Valpoy's going to fly here. So Valpoy should be able to do a nice chunk here. Not bad. Not bad. Now, I mean, I could bring out Mel Metal and Dynamax. Mel Metal's not bad on the Dynamax floor. But I could bring out Calyrex. I mean, oh, I'm trying to think of what he could do to me. I think we just Dynamax you, right? Max Quake into his ass and get a special defense boost. Take it out. Kind of go from there and just save her Calyrex for the back end. I'm digging it because we're not going to be able to pop off the Shrikram. We got a Dynamax and we got to get after it. I don't think he's going to double down into me. I don't think he's going to double down to Mel Metal. And even if he does, I think we can soak up a lot of these shots. So I'm just going to go for a another foul play, but into the Veltal at this time. And then just go for that uh, special defense boost and take out uh, Zassian here. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, yo. Mel Metal getting after it. Really taunting my P2, even though I saw it coming from a mile away. I'm just trying to think of ways I could have maybe popped Trick Room or kind of countered up on that one shot. Because looking at it now, like, any way I was trying to set up Trick Room, his Whimsicott kind of countered it. So, definitely tough. Definitely tough. But we're going to Dynamax Metal Metal. We have G-Max Metal Metal. Really cool Pokemon. And he's going to end up dropping a Max Darkness into my Metal Metal. Should be able to soak. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Hey, oh! Yo, chill on me. I swear, yo, if this kills me, if this Behemoth play kills me, I'm going to be very upset. He's going to be very upset here. Take a sword. This dang Pokemon, man. He gets a crit. Hate this game. Take out a 443 HP Pokemon here. Alright. We still have a shot. We definitely still have a shot here. I mean, he's probably rocking Sucker Punch, right? I don't have Taunt anymore. I could go for Trick Room here. I could go Protect Trick Room. I mean, would Trick Room help me here? Could definitely benefit me. I mean, what, what do we think his final Pokemon could be? Hmm. Could his final Pokemon be? I would love the pop of chicken, but I think I'm just gonna recover this turn. And go for a uh oh, wait, don't I have Prankster? I think I'm still gonna recover just in case this thing is rocking a uh Just in case this Pokemon is going with uh Sucker Punch. But I'm just gonna recover. Look at that, yo, prankster. He's probably like, yo, what's going on here? <laughs> this Pokemon's moving first. We're gonna recover, get some HP back. That's solid. And he's gonna go for an Oblivion Wing. Into who? 
Please don't double down on my Calyrex. Leave it alone. Go into Sacred Sword into my P2. We'll get some mean HP back. That's some scary HP. Goes for Sacred Sword into P2. Can we pick up the KO here? Should have popped the trick in that turn. Actually, I wouldn't have been able to. Astrobot's gonna fly here. Pop, 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 pop. Chipping up some damage. I don't even pick up a KO. That's tough. Battle number one's tough, man. Tough, tough, tough for us. Um, Could recover again. Recover. Probably go for protect. I could have speed swapped that turn. I mean, speed swap wouldn't have done anything. It just changed the stats. Should have protect here. Try to recover some HP and kind of roll from there. tough this is real tough because i really want to try to get off a trick room i feel like that's like our only way of winning is getting off a trick room but mm, tough battle he doubled down to my melt metal and we couldn't set up trick room this battle definitely tough for us he's gonna oblivion wing look for the ko we're gonna protect the secret sword is going to connect again which is annoying and i feel like the only way we could possibly win this game is going to be pop a trick room and get a protect off right tough but i don't think it's happening i don't think it's happening but we're gonna go for it protect doesn't even land doesn't even land he's gonna oblivion wing i'm dead that's gonna be battle number one but yo not a bad battle again we're going up against the strongest team in the game at the moment really really tough to kind of counter up especially when he stops my trick room right off rip and then he gets a crit on my metal metal to take him out it's like come on man come on get on out my face but still ggs this guy we're gonna start off 0 one we're hopping into our second battle and we're looking for our first win Second battle coming at you guys, going up against yet another strong team here. This guy's rocking Kofari, Regilecki, Urshifu, Zacian, Yveltal, and Kyogre. But it does not have Wimscott, it does not have a Taunt Pokemon, so I think it's safe to go in the P2 or even a Speed Swap play here. What would I benefit more from? I feel like Papa Trickham would benefit more from. So I'm going to go P2 right off the rip, and then I could go Zarude here. I mean, Zarude's not too bad, but I'm kind of leaning towards Kyogre here and going in with Melmetal and then having Calyx in the back. I think same squad is going to be perfect for us here. And I feel like we could pull off a win with it. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Well, not battle number one. Battle number two. Because we lost battle number one. But I didn't even ask you guys for question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the brand new Pokemon? Ravard? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? So Grievard. It's a new ghost dog that's like supposedly themed off of like a graveyard dog. I think it looks pretty cool. Definitely want to see an evolution from it. Because I feel like ghost types always look so sick. But... Definitely cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to see it in uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. We're just going to end up going uh, Reggie alongside with Yveltal. And I feel like at this point, we just protect Kyogre and we pop a trigger. Pretty safe play, right? The safest of plays, right? I, I, I'm with it all day. Because if I can say I had a like, high HP. Oh, I got Transistor. Good thing my electric moves will do more damage now. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like we just have to protect your Kyogre at this point. Circle up some shots and have P2 get that trick room off. I just think it's an easy play. I mean, I could have went for a water spout. Maybe I should have went for a water spout because if Regilecki does not go for me and he targets down my P2, we could have some problems. But, you know, I just think it's a play. I mean, he could go for Dynamax. He's going to Dynamax. That should be Yvelta, right? I don't really see him Dynamax and Regilecki right here. Unless it's an orb Regilecki or maybe a magnet. I just think he built us the Dynamax, yeah. So you built us gonna get the Dynamax, and I think he's gonna try to just airstream through. Get some speed boost and kinda go from there. But if he takes out my P2, mm, we're gonna be in a tough, tough spot. Well, I think he's gonna go after Kyogre, right? One of your Pokemon has to go after Kyogre, and I know my P2 could soak up some shots. Let's see how this one plays. He's gonna go for a Volt Switch. Oh no. P2, can you eat up this next shot? I think he read my protect. I think he read it hard. Is he gonna go into Clefairy here? Clefairy could be a play. Yeah, he goes into the Clefairy. Please go after my Kyogre here. Just for darkness. Go into my Kyogre. No. I love you, P2. P2's the man. P2's the man. That's why he's the MVP. That's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. <laughs> If you guys ever see that meme, let me know in the comment section down below. That might be my favorite meme ever. It's so funny. I might send it in a group chat like 65 times a day. But uh, we end up doing that. We have... Uh, I'm just going to Eerie Impulse this little booger. Actually, I know. We're not prankster. We can go into a straight Eerie Impulse. Um, I think we just Water Spout on top of this. He might follow me. Follow me, that's totally fine. But we got off Trick Room, which is a gorgeous sign. It's gorgeous. And I'm surprised he doubled down on me. That was a smart play by him. 
I could have went into a water spout last turn, which would have been huge. It would have been huge. Follow me does come out here, you little booger. I could have recovered some HP. Could have definitely recovered some HP here. I'm just gonna eerie impulse onto you now. Sending a little electric waves. <laughs> that move looks like it's gonna paralyze you, but then it just drops your special attack. But you, wait a minute, you're slower than my Kyogre, which is weird. That's fine, it takes out P2. Now you allow me to bring out the one and only Mel Metal, baby. You are done for. <laughs> Mel Metal coming in hot. Water Spout is going to fly, send it, and that's some big damage on the Clefairy. Some big damage on the Clefairy, but I'm just going to go into Mel Metal here. And obviously he's going to follow me the shot. I'm going to take a special defense boost. And I'm going to go from there. I mean, what other Pokemon does he have? I could have Zassim. What do I really want here? Do I want a special defense boost or do I want a physical attack boost? I think physical attack boost is going to be clutch for us. And I could go with Meltdown. Capable of using the same move twice in a row. I go Meltdown beforehand. I'm definitely going to you. If I go Meltdown beforehand, like, can he use that same darkness move? I don't even know. But we're going to Dynamax for Melt Metal. We got the Trick Room out and about, yo. P2 with the Clutch eating up. I mean, if he didn't Volt Switch into me, if he would have used like a special attack move, he probably would have KO'd me. I survived on 22. But P2 coming in, Clutch there. Melt Metal's going to get a second chance. 446. I thought, I thought it was 443, but 446 will take it. A little bit higher here. Follow me is going to come out just like we thought. We decided to go with the Defense Boost over the Special Defense Boost. Oh, no, it's not a Defense Boost. Oh, we should have went for a special defense boost then. I forgot. It changes moves because he's G-Max. We don't get the defense boost. That hurts us all. Um, is he allowed to use this move? He still is. That sucks. He's going to go into the darkness. That should KO me. Yeah, and I'm kind of fine with this. I mean, we have my boy just chilling here. He gets a crit. I think he was dead regardless. He's going to drop my special defense. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of fine with this. Even though Calyrex is going to be slow here, he still has Focus Ash. He can get off some big-time big damage. I'm all about it. I just like he's going to come back out here. Um, I could Quake into that, which I think I'm going to do. Actually, yo, that's actually hilarious. I just like he's faster than Calyrex. <laughs> I think I just Quake and then I just Ash or Brad straight across, right? Probably my play. I should have Quaked the, uh, the what's it called anyway. I should have Quaked into the, uh, the Clefairy regardless. Would have got a nice lovely special defense boost. I could speed swap. So how many turns are left? I just don't think it's the play. I just, I just think dropping an Astro Barrage at this point is the play. So I will throw an Astro Barrage. We're going to hope Regilecki doesn't protect, which he does not. Hopefully he's not sashed. Actually, I kind of hope he's sashed. It would be nice. It's not. Because if it was sashed, Calyrex would go uh, before it goes. So it would automatically survive because we have focus sash. And I can drop an Astro Barrage, pick up a free KO. And get a plus one special attack boost. He's gonna go next. He's probably gonna take me out. Oh no, he goes for a heat wave. Do not burn me. If you burn me, I wouldn't cry. Do not burn me. Do not burn me. Thank you. Astro Bot's gonna fly. Bip up, bip up, bip. Doing a decent amount of damage. Just slowly chunking it up. And how many turns left to trick him? Maybe one? Maybe two? I mean, I don't think he can use his. Uh, ooh, he goes in with Kyogre. How do we play up against this Kyogre? Do we go for a Meltdown? Oh, I have Lightning. I do have Lightning. That's going to be solid for us. I'm just going to Lightning and... Uh, let me check the Trick Room turns. One. I am not going to protect here. I'm just going to throw an Astro Bosch. I feel like he he thinks what's called is the biggest threat on the field. Mel Metal. He does not protect. Max Lightning is going to fly here. This KO. It should, right? Yep. See you later. That's going to be GG's. Wrap it up. Wrap it up, yo. Jeans ripping. He's getting after it. He's getting after it. I definitely made up for our last battle. Last battle, we just got countered hard by a really strong team. But this time, we go up against a similar, very strong team. But we were able to pop off Trick Room. Thank the Lord for P2. And we were able to actually uh, win this battle. So he's going to go into an Oblivion Wing. We're able to soak up thanks to that special defense boost. I think we're soaking up regardless. This Calyrex seems a bit more bulkier than normal. And then we can drop a nice little Astro Barrage, chip up some damage, bring it back to yellow, and then next turn, we should just be able to finish it off. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Actually, what's called is going to go first now. Calyrex. And another Astro Barrage should be able to do enough damage to take it out. Let's go. 
Nice little one and one. Nice little one and one for the first two battles. You guys know that third final battle. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna win it. We're gonna grab you guys a winning record. But I'm just gonna drop a nice little thunder punch here, and then throw another Astro Barrage. But I think our opponent just cancels, right? Do you cancel? Do you let your poor little Yveltal survive? You protect, you coward. What a coward. What a coward. Protecting. You coward. <laughs> What's the point of that protect? Is there any point of that? I don't think there is. I mean, he could have Sucker Punch, but if he has Sucker Punch, then Thunder Punch just rolls through here and takes him out. But if not, Astro Barrage should be able to just uh, do enough damage to KO. So here goes Astro Barrage. He just wasted a turn. I think he just went to hang out with Jeans a little bit longer. But Astro Barrage comes through there, cleans it up, takes out the Belt Alt, and we grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We are yet again going up against a top tier team. This guy's rocking Charizard and Crowdon combo. Alongside with Wimscott, who I absolutely hate when using this team. And then he has Zacian, Lunala, and Yveltal. Um, I think we're going to go for the speed swap. We're going to go Mel Metal into the Cali Cali and then bring Zerud in the back end because I promise you guys a little bit of Zerud action. Then do we go Rayquaza or do we just have... No, we need Kyogre. Sorry, Rayquaza. You're not coming in today's video. I apologize to you, Rayquaza. I know a lot of you guys like Rayquaza, but... I have plenty of other videos with Rick Waz in it. So if you guys want to check them out, just go hit my playlist tab. Check out my uh, Sword and Shield videos. Probably have to scroll down a couple hundred videos to find some Rick Waza content. But uh, it's there. It's there. I have a few videos with, with uh, Rick Waza. Yeah, I made over close to 600 videos for Sword and Shield, which is insane. It's insane. Just get me so excited for Scarlet and Violet. Cannot wait for new transition. I actually feel like that game's going to have so much vers uh, versatility with it, with the uh, terror types. I just feel like, like, just think each Pokemon gets every single different type so like the teams are like endless basically the team variations are endless which is insane but uh we're gonna go just straight up dynamax and i think we just go into max lightning here he wants to pop a trick him he can pop a trick him but i just speed swap i could go into an astro barrage but i'm just gonna speed swap you might swap lunala yeah speed swap is definitely my player i gotta get after these pokemon i gotta get after him he's not dynamaxing i'm all about it he's not dynamaxing I wonder what he's doing. I don't think he thinks I'm gonna go for a. I think he thinks I'm gonna go for a uh, trick room when I'm just speed swapping. And I'm just going for the speed swaps now. If I can pull off the speed swap and he can go into my Calyrex, I'm actually fine with that. But we should go first, and we should be able to take out Yveltal here. Should be fast on the field now, and we should just be able to dump on this Yveltal, right? See you later, Yveltal. Get them all out of here. Let's go. Solid first turn. We're gonna be able to keep our uh, Astral Barrage Calyrex in the battle a little bit longer. And it kind of just poses a threat. It's just sitting here posing a threat onto Lunala. But I think Lunala is gonna go into a Moonguys Beam into it. Makes sense, right? Makes a ton of sense. Yep, there's the Moonguys Beam. We do have our lovely little Focus Ash. We could roll after it. I'm trying to think of what my play could have been. I could have went to an Astral Barrage, I'm trying to think, but I think he was double down into me. So if I did not go for a speed swap at that turn, we would have not had the chance to speed swap the next turn. So I really do like that turn. We have our Mel Metal at full speed, which is ridiculous. And he's going to afford it before to send out Charizard here, who I think he Dynamaxes. Could have the Wakan Berry. Um, but I think he's going to try to force the... Uh... I think he might try to force the... What's it called? The Groudon swap. Into what slot, though? I think we just go for a special defense boost right here. And I might try to speed swap into this Charizard, making it really slow. But he might try to force the electric shot and swap the Charizard. But you know, I'm just gonna go for an Astro Barrage at this point. But I feel like there's no way he stays in with the Charizard, right? An accident the Charizard? Not even swapping? That's odd. Are you guarding? Like, what's going on here? This is really odd. This is really, really odd. So you, you mean to tell me I could have just dropped the Max Lightning and dumped on that thing? It just seemed too good to be true. It seemed way too good to be true. We could have just ripped into that. I mean, it could have Wakanda Berry. You might be going off of that, but let me drop this Quake here. I'm going to get a special defense boost. And Lunala is so bulky for no reason. I hate that Pokemon. Special defense boost can come out here. I'll drop a Lightning into that Pokemon next turn. He's going to go for a Moon Guys Fiend. Oh, no way you're not going after my. He's going to go for a Wildfire. We should be able to soak that up. We do indeed. And he leaves my uh my Calyrex to be able to get off a shot. I'm all about it. Astrobrage gonna fly. Bilp. See you later, Lunala. And I could go. I'm just gonna save my Kyogre. If he wants to I can hard swap into Kyogre next turn. 
Grimnade boost is going to come out here. We're dead in the wildfire damage regardless. And we're just going to go from there. I think now is the perfect time to drop a... Uh, I know he has ground on, but now it's the perfect time to drop a lightning. Um, and I can go into my boy Zerud. Get Zerud action out. Because Zerud's actually rather fast. Zerud is actually really fast. He goes in it. Ooh, Zassy. Oh. Zassy's going to fly here. Uh, but his Zerud action is going to be some fun. Uh, shh. I could swap and just save my Zerud, but I really just want to max lightning and take this thing out. Actually, I'm just gonna stay in here. Go for jungle healing. Jungle healing is sick. User becomes one with the jungle, restoring HP and healing any status condition. Oh, a heal status condition of itself and its ally in the Pokemon battle. That's cool. But I'm just gonna pop a darkest layer. Mm, actually, you know what? Do I wonder here? Go for a little bit of jungle healing. I'll try to pop a jungle healing this turn. He's going to protect his ass. Oh, jungle healing. What's a good call? We go for the jungle heals. Lightning's going to fly here. Lightning is going to fly. Is that KO? It does. And jungle healing coming out here as well. Woo! Jeans, baby. Let's go. Is a rude Mel Metal clutching up at the end here? What's up, Kyogre? Loving it. I'm loving it. HP loss. Jungle healing coming out here. Let's go. Give me some HP. I think it's like 25%. I think it's a huge chunk. No, that wasn't 25%. More than the wildfire damage. Wildfire is chipping, but I, I think it goes for constant turns, right? I think it's now in like the uh, the info. But that's gonna be GG's. We can just straight up quick and finish this battle off, right? I think we can. Let's see. Uh, let me see the turns though. No, I thought jungle healing was like straight up in this uh in here. Never mind, I messed up, guys. I thought it was like an every turn kind of thing. We do have Leaf Guard though, which is pretty cool. But I'm just gonna pop an EQ here. It's gonna be not very effective on Zerud. And then I'm just gonna try jungle healing up again. Get a little heals up there, but EQ's gonna be able to pop. And this guy just cancels battle, and we take a win here in battle number three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A two and one winning record for you guys with this Mel Metal and Zerud off meta team. Absolutely loved it. We got to go up against some killer teams, some very strong teams, and we were able to pull off that winning record, which I really, really like. The only pick one we didn't get to bring in today's video on this team was that Rayquaza, but again, you guys seen plenty of Rayquaza on my channel. I got tons of videos with them. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.